welcome back to The Average, or welcome to The Average. My name is Steph, I'm The Average Artist, and today we are going to be testing out these Artex acrylic markers. First of all, let's get rid of this horrible plastic. I'm very excited because Artex have sponsored this video and also sent me these markers, so this is going to be my review of these markers, which I'm super, as I said, already excited about because I really like alcohol markers. Posca's, I like the other ones, Molotov, I think they're called Molotov, Molo, Molo, I can't remember. You remember. Let's open up these bad boys and see what they're like. Okay, straight off the bat, I can see that you get extra nibs, which is very nice. Thank you very much, because sometimes the nibs do get a little bit grossified. And as usual, our texts have that lovely, like, design. They always have a nice design. Are the pens in something? Yes. Oh, do I get these out then? How are you like? Oh, okay. You're in two clumps. Two clumps. There we go. So there's one clump. And two. And these are how the markers look, which you probably might have seen because they're kind of doing the rounds at the moment of people using them. So these are what they look like. Hello, markers. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. I'm instantly drawn to like these colours, the pastels. There's a lot of browns, which I'm not not displeased with, but you know. First of all, let's do some swatching. You guys might be shocked if you know me that I don't really do swatching, but today I will. Okay, so you have to shake the marker and press it several times like any alcohol, uh, not alcohol, acrylic marker. So basically these pens have acrylic paint in them and the nibs are kind of acting like a paintbrush tip, but firmer, so like a pen. <laughs> First of all, I'm gonna try this blue color. It doesn't have the color name, it just has like a number. So basically it's like the clones in uh, the Clone Wars in Star Wars. I'm watching that at the moment, so that's why, why my brain went there. I need to calm down, I've had too much caffeine. Anyway, so you pump the nib a little bit, and as you can see, the paint starts going down into the nib, and you can do a little swatch. And I have to say, that was very, very quick. Sometimes they take a while to for the paint to come out. Looking really solid color very nice and um, let's try a completely different one like a light pink or something um this one is q365 i have to shake them because you can see within the barrel how much you have left but you can also see if it's mixed which is a good detail because you don't have that on posca actually. yeah you don't know how much you have left that's a good indicator if you need to get a new one okay this ink is coming out pretty fast i say ink I mean acrylic paint. Strong coverage, very nice. Yeah, they're pretty instant. You might see a bit of pilling of the paper and that's because these are meant to be used on like all sorts of media basically. You can use them like on stones, on wood, different materials. I like to use them in my sketchbook even though they pill a little bit, but I'm gonna be using them because I enjoy it. So this is what they look like swatched. What I want to do is paint some classics using these markers because I keep wanting to say alcohol markers and alcohol markers because what I've done in the past is that and I think it's quite fun. So I found some like classic portraits and stuff. So this is the Marquis of Las Marisamas, which is a famous painting apparently, but I've only just seen it today. I think that says more about me than the painting though. So I'm just going to doodle some classic paintings, I guess, which is something you can do with alcohol markers, because it's fun. I like to outline the character first, but the great thing about acrylic, <laughs> I had to really think that I was like, it's not alcohol. Acrylic markers is that they're really forgiving because you can go over what you've done again and again, basically, because they should cover up each other's mistakes because they're very thick, you see? This painting is like an oval painting. I'm just kind of working out the negative space first, because I wanna. This used to be my favorite thing to do is like if I go to an old manor or something or a castle and you see a portrait, I really liked taking pictures of those portraits and then copying them later and just but in my style, it's just fun to do. Okay, let's do a little um, montage of uh, me coloring in this because I think it's gonna be satisfying.
Okay, there we go. That's the first layer uh, done. Okay, I remembered some things that I haven't remembered for a while but whilst using these acrylic markers because I haven't used acrylic markers for a little bit, but I remembered not to press too hard and it's more flowy because I'm used to like being quite stern. <laughs> if that's uh, the word to use with my art supplies. So I remembered that somebody gave me a tip once in a video to just press lightly and you get more glide with your pen. And I was like, oh yeah, I remember now. What next? I think we should do her hair because it just looks fun. She's got like really black hair in this image and a really big shiny side hair. That didn't make sense. Don't care. They dry pretty quick. You can see they're still a little bit wet there where I just added, but. I'm too lazy to wait. What's the problem with me? Should be called the lazy artist, am I right? The impatient artist. And she has like loads of hair here. Did I just get ink everywhere? No. If I did get ink everywhere, it's kind of my fault because I'm too impatient for everything. Very shiny hair. Kind of looks a little bit like Queen Victoria, but young version. It has like a white dress on, but it looks kind of light blue. And I don't know if this is a lighter blue, but we're gonna use that as the dress. Or in areas anyway, because it is white, but it seems like a light blue has been used as the shadows to indicate where the dress is. Press lightly, Steph, you can do it. It's so difficult though, I hate pressing lightly. Okay, so just let's like indicate the dress. It's one of those very like ruffled, ruffly dresses. And she has this garland of lace. That's not the term, but this waterfall of lace, I guess, coming down her arm here. And you don't actually see her arm, which is great for me, because you know, any, any time to not draw arms, just kind of using this light blue to sketch out the areas now of the drawings. And it's interesting to work with these paint markers when you're doing something that is obviously being painted so realistically and softly with fine paints and liners and, you know, very fun to work on. So I highly suggest if you guys get alcohol mark acrylic markers to just try and test them out on, like, Get a delicate painting and see if you can replicate it because it's going to come out completely different but it's going to have a certain style to it i've seen someone who does i don't know i don't remember their name but they do like movie scenes with acrylic markers and it just looks always looks so nice shake 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 it come on this pink is not as quick as the others softly press softly and through this like lace here you can see her arm so I want to show that a little bit. Some areas are much lighter than others, so I'm just trying to indicate that a little bit. I think what I'll do is like once I've coloured it, go in with my pencils on top because that's what I like to do. As you guys know, if you watch my channel, a lot of you guys aren't subscribed though. Apparently, that's what my my algorithms tells me. So if you could subscribe, that would be great. I would enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know why I speak like that. It's very millennial core and I can't help it because I am millennial, I guess. Okay, that's the humour we were brought up with. We just, we can't stop it. It's just how it is. You're gonna have to let it go, guys. I really want to use like a pink for her cheeks as well. So let's see what this colour's like. Is that too... I like how you can see the colour inside, that might be too similar, might need a little bit more ready. It might be too red, but let's mix it up. It is satisfying, like, making these activate, that's what I do like. Um, I'm gonna, like, don't get afraid, because this is gonna look a bit silly for a little bit, because there's a blob for where her lips are, but what's going to happen is I'm going to go back in with a pencil and frame it with a pencil, if that makes sense. Oh, I shouldn't have used... Why did I use that red on the paintbrush? Don't panic, guys. Acrylic markers are forgiving. And that's what we like to hear. It's very red lips now, but it's fine because um, now 
you can do the flowers and her flowers will match her lips and I will also go in with my pencil any second now I need a green I need a green is this a nice green yes yes it is mixed I do say that I do say it I will say <laughs> that the colors look very nice together like the selection of them that I, I don't know if that's me picking them or they look nice they're working it's a nice bouquet she's holding shame I can't draw it very well but there just go over them a little bit I want to do this because I just think it's cute I need to go over the hair again as well because that looks a bit weird with the edge needs to be super shiny like it is in the the drawing painting whatever somebody once said to me because I said painting wrong when I sort of said drawing or something and they said it in the comments you mean this and now whenever I get something wrong like that I always correct myself even though that person is probably long gone no one else cares it's so weird how comments affect you but I was like yeah they're right so lesson learned but not because I can never get it right still and now we're gonna layer some different layer colors for the leaves see how that works poorly I also need to do the background background leaves are kind of blurry we don't want them to be like the key attention but it kind of is a nice contrast to her dress so some really nice I'm sorry if you can hear my kittens running around a little bit cray Ooh, I looked away and it was completely ready um so the thing with this is that there's like dark sky in the background but it's kind of a brooding color and clouds and stuff so I'm trying to indicate that a little bit but also stylistically like how do I want to convey that? Do I want it to just be like shapes or do I actually want to have it like I've just done it with the brush? I'm not sure. Because I kind of like the, the shapes on shapes idea. But then does it just look like random shapes? You can see how it layers nicely on top of each other, which is just chef kiss. I definitely want, because she has like a dark sh shadow behind her, but I don't want to use brown, it looks brown in the image, but I know it's not, it's probably like a dark blue. But I don't know which one to use. Maybe a purple? I feel like that's too brown. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with some pencils now and uh, just define some areas, which is something I really like to do. I suppose it depends how you guys use alcohol markers, but you can do whatever you like. Let's see. Mm -mm -mm. These pencils are going on this side of the page and it's really bothering me. <laughs> and I've like spilt paint everywhere. Classic. Okay, let's see the finer details here. Um... This is where it gets risky because you're like, am I going to ruin all that pre-developed stuff? If you do want to blend them a little bit, you can just like get a little bit of water, I would say, and just blend away. Might have waited too long, it's dried, but <laughs> see here I want to add a bit of white like shimmery softness here. So I might just it's a bit of white over the top and then just Okay, I had a moment there where I was scared it wasn't mendable because <laughs> there's kind of a hole going through this paper now and I think it's more the sketchbook than anything but I probably shouldn't have been so like 
crazy with the um, the way I was layering down stuff because of the sketchbook. But there we go. I decided to move on to a pen because I felt it was giving more <coughs> contrast than the pencil, so it was just working better. And now we're moving on to just doing some line art, which is fun. And it feels really nice on top of the alcohol markers. She's got some like lace here, which is kind of a difficult thing to draw with black pen and acrylics, but you know. After this time, I decided to just focus on the drawings itself, so I kind of stopped with my voiceover. I used pencil and then I went in with pen, as you saw, so I just... I think I kept making mistakes on this first drawing, and you can see that later on in the montage because it's like jump scare of her face, but just ignore that because I do fix it up in the end. But these are just some quick designs that I did afterwards to just fully test the pens out, and I think it works out really nice. We meet you at the end for my final thoughts. So this is the final spread of this page and I really like how it turned out. I really do enjoy using these markers. Thank you again to Artex for sponsoring this video and also sending me these markers. I think they are a really good alternative to the other brands, especially price wise and quality wise. So I really, really like them and they have my seal of approval. So there you go. That's the end of the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.